This portion is brought to you by Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Siguradong handa ka namang isda pag natapos na ang bangka. Ngunit ano-ano pa ang mga huling hakbang sa pagbuo ng bangkang Pinoy? Ngayong naihiwalay na ang mold sa bagong gawang bangka, we are now ready to put the ribs or stiffeners to strengthen the boat and prevent it from wobbling. Yung ribs or yung stiffeners ng ating bangka, ng fiberglass bangka, is made of uh, styrofoam, this styrofoam board. Magkat kayo ng uh, two inches yung lapad. You can cut this by either using a, an ordinary saw. After cutting, we try to smoothen the, the board using sandpaper. So you try to remove that paper no? before uh, using the board on the boat. Ang stiffeners would really strengthen yung, 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 yung boat natin, yung bangka. Ang ginawa natin dito, nilagyan natin siya ng uh, masilya uh, para idikit no? doon sa ating uh, uh, fiberglass boat. Ang, ang lumalabas kasi, that's why it's called stiffness, kasi parang brace talaga siya. No? Para hindi na nagwa-wobble yung, yung bangka natin. And then after that, uh, kasi minsan ma mahaba siya, no? yung measurement natin ng ano, you just trim the, the boards na kasing haba lang siya ng, or same length lang siya ng depth ng ating bangka. So, meron tayong vertical at saka meron din tayong horizontal support. And then at the same time, doon po sa base or sa hull ng ating uh, fiberglass bangka. Naglagay din tayo ng stiffeners doon. Yung distance niya, this is based on the, our calculations din. Uh, yung initial computation ng ating engineer uh, for support. Uh, I think it's uh, 16, 16 inches yung distance ng bawat uh, ribs natin, so, hanggat sa pagdating natin sa pinakadulo. To make the support no, or the, the ribs uh, strong, we used uh, two layers or two layups of CM450. Kinover natin siya ng uh, CM450 na, na mat. Okay? Again, using mga resin natin. So after it, it dries, dries up, we use another uh, layup ng tea. So as, as you can see, mas lalong kumapal na yung bangka natin because of additional layup ng uh, 450 mats plus yung supports na, na, na ribs or stiffeners. After na... na, na na, na nalagay na natin yung mga stiffeners natin or yung ribs ng ating bangka, the next thing you do is yung i-prepare na yung mga compartments. That would serve as a yung parang wall, no? fiberglass wall mo, to hold your uh, flotation system, which is the uh, polyurethane A and B. The next would be the yung pag add na natin ng polyurethane A and B mixture. So, ito na yung foam. Uh, yung polyurethane foam na. Now, once ma mix siya, it forms into a foam. That will serve as our uh, flotation. That would uh, ensure that the boat will not sink mag-apply ng masilya you know, para uh, parang protection niya rin para tumibay yung surface for the last application ng isang layer na 450 na mat to seal yung compartment natin. 
Now, the next step is we color it. Yung gel coat na ginamit natin, yung first nating uh, uh, layup dun sa mold, dun, yun pa rin ang gagamitin natin. And then, after na natimpla na siya, ipapahid lang natin dun sa inside ng ating uh, fiberglass boat. And then, hintayin na lang siya na ma matuyo. Siguro it will take us mga, again, another 15 to 20 minutes. The next would be yung assembly na natin ng underwater accessories. And the first thing that we do is yung magbutas tayo dun para sa ating uh, propeller shafting. Since this is a small bangka, ang gagawin, ang pinaka-suitable dito na engine is yung 5.5 horsepower marine engine. Para at least talaga na aligned siya, no? Walang vibrations na mangyayari kung sakali mag-andar yung engine. If all is well, all is good, uh, the next would be the yung mga outriggers na natin, which is usually made, well, it's made of bamboo. So, kadali naman kasi meron na tayong mga posts sa ating mga bangka where we can attach the the outriggers or tatig. Bangkang Pinoy is very promising because of its durability against typhoon, minimal maintenance cost, and long-lasting capability. At the end of the day, layunin ang Bangkang Pinoy na masagip at protektahan ang buhay at kinabukasan ng mangingisdang Pilipino. This portion was brought to you by Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources.